ChatGPT has completely changed the educational system. One of the biggest issues that has not been discussed is the use of Turnitin and ChatGPT. Um, and if you don't know, Turnitin is a tool that is used in the educational system to determine if there's any form of plagiarism. So they have announced um, that they are going to include their AI writing detector in Turnitin. So it's going to completely block ChatGPT. And this is going to happen as soon as next week, as it states here, as early as April 2023. So you guys better turn your papers in early um, if you're going to use ChatGPT because they are getting serious about making sure that uh, students are not using ChatGPT to create their papers. And one of the things that I did want to point out is that they say that it can catch about 97% and it has uh, at least a 1% false positive rate. So that's extremely low. Hopefully it gets even lower. So let me show you guys a quick glimpse of what it looks like when uh, Turnitin is using their AI writing detector. So this is a clip from one of Turnitin's videos showing an example of how ChatGPT um, can clearly be identified and shown that this was completely AI generated. This is another example that they used um, where there was a variety of content that was written by a person and they included quotes and information from ChatGPT. Um, and one thing to also remember is that there is a certain threshold for the level of acceptable external information. Um, and if you quote things properly, cite things properly, you may be able to still use ChatGPT depending on those aspects. I think uh, people are going to try to probably get by with some of those thresholds and still qualify their paper to be graded and meet the standards, right? So that's one thing that we do have to mention. And next, I can't make a video about ChatGPT and turn it in and not mention Quillbot. Um, and Quillbot is basically a tool that is used to rephrase information. And a lot of individuals are using that tool to try to make the uh, work that ChatGPT creates and then rephrase it so that they can still turn it in. So let's go ahead and see what Quillbot says. So here we say that it's Quillbot considered AI writing. Uh, the short answer is no. It basically discusses um, that it's going to just paraphrase and hopefully you're really paraphrasing your own work. Um, but uh, it is not considered AI writing. So this means that uh, maybe the AI detector from Turnitin won't be able to determine if the work that you used um, from ChatGPT and then paraphrase with Quillbot that maybe won't be detected by Turnitin. Here's another statement from uh, Quillbot is using a paraphrasing tool plagiarizing and here's just basically saying um, technically they want you to use your own work in order to just optimize it. Um, and lastly is we'll turn it in detect Quillbot. This was written two years ago. It says it was updated. I'm not sure when it was updated. Um, but it says Quillbot was created to help users improve their own writing, not to help users paraphrase someone else's writing and pass it off as their own. If you're using Quillbot properly, there should be no fear or worry of plagiarism. So this is kind of a tricky answer because um, we really don't know when this was updated. Um, and if it was discussing how Turnitin function previously, uh, before adding their AI detector. So these are just three things to kind of help you figure out if you even want to take the risk of using, you know, ChatGPT, then trying to use Quillbot. And then you also have to say, hey, do you even fit in within the threshold of acceptable um, external work within um, 
the threshold that Turnitin allows for certain papers? Or will that even change? Meaning, will they allow references and with proper citations and they will 100% maybe remove any acceptable AI writing, even if it is within a threshold, that's something that could happen. So yeah, education has been changed um, by AI and it's done it quickly. So just wanted to give you guys a quick update. Um, <laughs> turn those papers in early, get your work done early before next week. If you are going to use ChatGPT to help you out with your schoolwork. Uh, so looks like AI uh, may not have fully won this round, but we'll see how things change. <laughs> All right, guys, have a good day.